just a uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Hey, my name is Kelvin Peary, if we haven't met, and this is The Awakening. I am right now in Kitwe, by the river, the, uh, well, it's one of the big rivers here in Zambia, the Fiwe River, it actually passes through Kitwe. And this is where I am. There's a beautiful, nice place where you can see it overlooking the, um, the river. So beautiful. And I'm here with my old good friend, James. Now, James, I will introduce him, but I'll, I'll let him talk about himself. Um, we, we started this uh, in Francistown mm. and, and, and he did some interviews. So James is very good. <laughs> He's very good. So we did some uh, interviews and this was about glorifying Jesus with testimonies and James did some brilliant, brilliant interviews which I haven't shared yet but I will share one day uh, with everyone to see. So James, welcome. Thank you. Thank right, you now we are here in Kitwe and I'm, uh, the Kitwe for me is my home. You've just, I think... For some of you who might not have known or might know James, just moved into Kitwe. What what are your impressions so far of Kitwe? Well, Kitwe, Kitwe for me is um, well. I was born here. I was born here, but I I grew up in Indola. Yeah. But Kitwe so far is proving to be uh, a likable town for me. Mm -hmm. I, I I see great opportunities here. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. How it goes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> So, obviously, I mean, it's a likeable time, town now, as you said. I think for me, I, Kalulushi is actually my hometown. But I always say Kitwa because I started work here. I did a course at the Commonwealth University just down the road there. And I started my job here. So I kind of consider this to be my new hometown. But my whole hometown is here. Now tell me, in terms of um, opportunities, uh, I've, I've, I've been around the last few two weeks that I've been here. Uh, what, what do you think about opportunities, you know, businesses and stuff that's going on? What do you think about that? Yeah, um, Kitwe being a mining area, mm. um, it's a mining town. Yeah. It's, uh, it's slowed down a bit in the past uh, few years because yeah. of the, the meltdown that is affecting everything globally. Yes. So Kitwe hasn't been spared, yeah. but uh, we are anticipating that there's going to be some good investment mm. that is coming, That's coming from outside because uh, like the government has spoken about it, they've st yes. spoken about uh, 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 investors coming into the country yeah. to come and invest in, in mining. Mm. And uh, we also have uh, uh, a nearby town called Solwezi, yes. which is coming up very well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually called the the, 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 the new house. the new copper belt. Yes, I saw yeah. that. Yes, the new copper belt. Yeah. So we anticipate that uh, there's going to be a good influx of uh, of, of money in this, yeah. in this uh, sector. Mm. So basically, we're just positioning ourselves okay. so that uh, when that boom comes, yeah. <laughs> we'll be right there. Yeah, so really in the, in the mining area, I can confidently say that uh, we're looking for, for, we're looking at the greater things coming. Is there any other stuff? I mean, I, I've been driving around, I've been to Lusaka, I've been to Sulawesi as well. Uh, I, I, apart from um, the, the mining industry, mm. is there any other opportunities that are here? Um, one would think of yeah agriculture is also another area you know yeah. we're seeing people buying land yes going into agriculture yes. and uh, i think that notion and perception that we had in the past where yeah. agriculture was uh, was uh, looked at as uh, as, as uh, a business that uh, that only the elderly can do yes yes, yes. Is, is long gone long because gone. we're seeing young people coming in yeah and uh, buying land, mm. uh, going into uh, aquaculture, yes. people are going into rearing of uh, chickens, yeah. you know, uh, keeping cattle and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So I think that is another area. Agriculture can do very well because Zambia is fortunately uh, yeah. a land that, uh, that where everything can grow. Yeah. You know? So uh, agriculture, I think, uh, besides um, 
mining, agriculture yeah. is one area that uh, if one really wants to invest, yeah. that is an area where you it's huge, invest. huge potential. Yes. There. Yes. Yeah. I think I always say about uh, agric about agriculture that you can never go wrong. Everybody wants to eat, mm -hmm. and the population is growing yeah. massively. I mean, well, just uh, just to say about uh, how big, how the population has uh, exploded. Yeah. Uh, over the past 20 years that I've been away from Zambia, mm -hmm. uh, living like constantly living in Zambia. Yeah. Um, in Kalurushi, Kalurushi was a small little town. Mm -hmm. It's just exploded. I mean, everywhere where I, we used to run and he's saying this is a bush, mm -hmm. the houses. Yeah. The houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about um, agriculture, I think there's quite a lot of opportunity yeah. there. And uh, I, think, I think we need to find people that uh, can change the narrative about mm -hmm. agriculture. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we used to think mm -hmm. this is just for Abakara, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, uh, I think when you think about it, uh, that there's a lot of opportunities yeah. there. Yeah. And I think it's quite profitable actually, mm -hmm. if done properly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, that, that's quite good. Yeah. No, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, there are, there are a few things that we can definitely look at and uh, uh, people can actually invest in. I mean, when I look at this place where we are, and I'll show uh, a drone footage of this place where we are, this was like nobody wanted to think of this place. But I am so blown apart when I see how people can actually just think outside the box and come up with such a beautiful place and, and here we are mm. sitting by the river and uh, you know enjoying our akapuali uh, you know <laughs> I, I think there's there's quite a lot of things yeah. that you, uh, one can do yeah so yeah. i mean in terms of um encouraging my, my brothers and sisters in the diaspora what mm. could you say i mean th there are people that have never they don't want to capture that mm. Mm. they don't want to see what Zambia, well, they have that notion, or that they've got that picture of Zambia 30 years ago. Mm. Uh, is there a difference between that Zambia and this Zambia? What could you say to my brothers and sisters out there? Yeah, um, I think the Zambia that we knew 30 years ago is uh, very different from the Zambia that we have today. Mm. Uh, because uh, there's, there's, if I may borrow your word, there's this great awakening. Yes. Um, people have come to appreciate uh, 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 things that they never used to appreciate in the past. You know? Yes. So uh, I think uh, Zambia is of age. Yeah. Uh, there's so much potential. Yes. There's so much uh, things that one can do here. Yeah. In the diaspora, I think. Uh, I would say that, uh, you see, when you go outside the country... Mm -hmm. You've been you outside the country. I've been outside the country, yeah. and you live on borrowed you were, time. You were in the diaspora. I was in the diaspora. And you're back. So, uh, yes. I'm actually speaking as... Uh, uh, yes, as one of... Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So, um, I think time to invest home is now. No. You know, because there's this, this rush, yeah. and we're having people even from outside... Uh, um, foreign nationals that yeah. are coming yes. to invest in this country. Yeah. So, if... People that are uh, 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 positioned like mm. Zambians that mm. are outside Zambia mm. that are able to come and invest back home, that would be a very good thing because uh, once this phase passes, yeah. there's very little that is going to remain in terms of land. Yeah. You know, land is running out very, very fast. Yes, yes. You know? When you hear a plot, people don't hesitate, they buy. Yeah. It doesn't matter where the plot is, yes. it could be in the outskirts, people go and buy. Yeah. So, uh, we, we, we need to move at some speed yeah. as Zambians, especially the Zambians in the diaspora, yeah. to come and invest back home and, you know, that also helps develop our own country. We take pride in, in developing our own country and moving our country forward because each person in, the, in this country is like a jigsaw, at least it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. We, 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 fit, we fit in and each one has a responsibility yes. and has something that he can contribute to this country. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's, it's a good time to come and invest and, uh, and, uh, and see what, uh, how it goes. Yeah. So, I mean, thank you very much. That's, that's very powerful. But I just remember, you've been in the diaspora. Do you think that by doing something while you are in the diaspora, because the, the whole thing, the series is 
on how to build in Zambia, and I talk about build in Zambia, mm -hmm. invest in Zambia while living in the diaspora. You think that helps if you come back home while thinking about that, while you are away? Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. That that's uh, it helps because um, when you are away, um, you always planning on one day coming back home. Yes. So it will be good for you to have a safe land, what we call a safe landing. Yes. Because when you come back home, you want to come back home to something. Yes. So I think it's it's um, it's a good thing to quickly start thinking of uh, investing back home while you're there. Mm. Uh, I know it's a very difficult thing when you are far away like yeah. that. You're thinking, how is my investment going yeah. to be, and uh, who can I trust, and mm. stuff like that. But it's critical that uh, while it's there, yeah. one starts doing something. something. Yeah, because yeah. If, if, if you don't, if you try and do something when you come, mm. it will be like a crash program. Yeah. You have to start looking for land, you have to start uh, mm. trying to find material and stuff like that. But when you're outside, you, Slowly. you put up something, mm. then when you come, you will not be in a hurry or you will you not, you not be disadvantaged mm. in terms of uh, settling down. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Mm. But there we are. That's James, my good friend from uh, Botswana, now here in uh, Kitwe. And what I would say is to everybody that's watching this video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and smack that bell. And please support my brother here, James. I always say to him, he's very good, and I want him to start uh, a channel. Uh, oh, this is the channel. I think he's got so much stories and for you guys in the diaspora, he's one of our uh, our friends. He's one of our of, uh, of us. He was in the diaspora and now he's in Zambia. And I believe that he's got quite a lot that we, he can be, will share with us and uh, we can learn from. So support him and very soon I will share his link to his YouTube channel. Actually, before I go, we will have that and that will be there. On, the, on on my uh, in the in the in the description his YouTube channel so that we can support my brother here and we want to try and have our own people that were in the diaspora and their experience because they are back because there's so many various experiences there are people that are doing well there are people that are not doing well there are people that but we want to be prepared and that's the reason why we are doing this so remember to subscribe to James Lusale's, uh uh, YouTube channel. I don't know what name he's gonna call it, but we're gonna do that right now. So we'll see you in the next uh, in the next uh, video. God Thank bless. You. Bye bye.